In this video, I am going to discuss maximum subarray sum uh, using uh, the brute force method. Maximum subarray sum is nothing but finding the largest possible sum that can be obtained, that can be fetched by uh, adding together the elements of contiguous subarray within a given array of integers. So, the elements must be contiguous. You have to find out the combination, the contiguous uh, combination continuous uh, elements which gives you the maximum sum value um, it has to return. Uh, so, th this is the given example like the, the given the sample example I have taken uh, there are only 4 elements. Uh, so, we need to find uh, which uh, subarray gives you the maximum sum value. The possibilities are if, since we are applying the brute force technique here um, the possibilities are like the subarray can contain any number of elements right. So, here the n number of elements are there 0, 1, 2, 3 which means there are totally 4 elements are there up to 4 like your subarray uh, can have any number of elements it could have any number of elements. For example, I have uh, like for example, the subarray with the size 1 means in one subarray there would be only minus 1 is one subarray, 3 is one subarray, 2 is one subarray, then again minus 4 is one subarray. So, with the size 1 means these are the these are going to be a subarray out of which the maximum uh, value if you choose it is going to be 3. Here the maximum sub value which subarray gives you the maximum sub uh, sum value we are supposed to identify right. With the size 2 let us check um, it can be minus 1 3, 3 and 2, 2 and minus 4 these are the possibilities. With the size 3 out of this uh, you know if you check uh, this combination is going to give you give the give us the maximum sum value. So, we could choose 3 and 2. So, with size 3 also it could be generated. Uh, if with size 3 if you generate minus 1, 3, 2 is one subarray, uh, 3, 2 and minus 4 is another subarray. Only 2 uh, possibilities are there. With the size 4 if you check minus 1, 3, 2, minus 4 only one possibility we have. So, these are the possible subarrays. So, if there are n number of elements uh, the possibilities are these many subarrays are actually possible. Now, we are supposed to identify which contiguous subarray uh, gives us the maximum sum. It should be contiguous if it is non contiguous uh, it is not valid actually. For example, um, I am choosing uh, 3 and minus 4 which is not contiguous only. So, it is not valid anything if you choose uh, like if it gives you the maximum sum value it must be the contiguous array if it is non contiguous it is not valid we are not supposed to consider it. Now, to solve this to find to find the maximum sum array sum uh, there are actually 3 different methods are there one is we can go with brute force method that is one option straightforward method. Second option is using dividend conquer method this problem can be solved and third one is cadence algorithm. There are three different methods possible to find maximum subarrayism. Let us discuss one by one. In this video, I am going to discuss how maximum subarray sum can be identified, can be obtained using brute force method. The brute force method for finding the maximum subarray sum involves systematically checking all the possible subarrays and determining which one has the highest sum. While not the most efficient approach in terms of time complexity, it provides this, this brute force method provides a uh, yes, straightforward way to understand the problem and serves as a baseline for more optimized algorithm. Let us see how the brute force method works. Let us take one proper example. Let us take um, <coughs> this example uh, 2 3, minus 6, 4 and a minus 4. So, our array uh, is going to contain the combination of both positive and negative integers. If you check our example array has totally uh, 5 elements. Uh, now, we are going to apply the brute force method to solve this 
and this is the soda could given here you are going to set the maximum sum as minus infinity why because our array is going to contain both the positive and negative values so initially i am just going to initialize this max variable with the minus infinity and the next step is i'm going to use a for loop uh, my and uh, the for loop is going to start from 0 till n and then i'm going to set my sum value as 0 um, and j is going to start from n means i'm going to consider each and every combinations over here so in the first combination first we are supposed to generate all the sub arrays first and we have to compute the value so for example during the first iteration my max is going to be minus infinity uh, i trade okay let's trace the pseudocode and do it iteration wise uh, initially max is minus infinity now uh, for i equals to 0 set your i value as 0 this is my uh, i value set i value 0 and when i value is 0 uh, it, it has to go inside and j should get executed for n number of times starts from i value till n right so now the j value also would be 0 j value 0 now my sum value is also 0 here I have initialized my sum value also is 0 i is 0 entering is uh, setting sum equals to 0 entering into the j loop j starts from i uh, so i value is 0 now so j value is also starts from 0 when it is 0 i am supposed to add sum equal to sum plus array of j so array of j value 0 so array of 0 0 index 2 values there so sum plus 2 let us check the sum value so 0 plus the uh, array of j value which is 2 so 0 plus 2 we would get the sum value as 2 now i am going to check we have to check whether the max is lesser than sum value check the max yes max is lesser than sum value if max is lesser than sum value we are supposed to update our max as the sum value which is 2 next increment j now j value would be 1 so when i value 0 j would get executed right from 0 till n so when j value is 1 um, it's a sum equal to sum plus array of j current sum value is 2 2 plus current array of j value is 3 2 plus 3 is 5 now compare whether max is lesser than sum now the sum value would be 5 sum value would be 5 now compare max and sum if max is lesser than sum value we are supposed to update the max value max value would be 5 now increment j value j value would be 2 now add the current sum value with um, the array of j current sum values 5 and array of j is minus 6 now we would get minus 1 now we check uh, the sum value would be minus 1 now check the sum value is uh, max value is lesser than uh, 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 sum no it is not so right so nothing will be can be done uh, let it be like the max value under max variable the 5 only would be retained increment the j value now j value would be 3 the current sum value is minus 1 minus 1 plus array of j value the current array of j values array of 3 which is 4 so the current sum value would be 3 now so sum value would get updated to 3 now compare max value and sum value which of is maximum should be retained under the max variable max itself is greater so uh, uh, there is no change in the max variable increment the i value sorry increment the j value now j would be pointing the fourth index add the current sum value with the array of j current sum value is 3 array of j is minus 1 we would get 2 so now the sum value would get updated if you check sum value is 2 and max is 5 whichever is maximum should be retained under the max variable max itself is greater so the same value would be retained under the max so now the max value is 5 so during the first iteration the maximum value it could return us the maximum value it could return us 5 now again in the next step again i value would be incremented j would start from 1 now 1 till 1 2 3 4 totally see when i equals to 0 it took 5 iterations when i equal to 1 it is going to take 4 iterations when i equals to 2 it is going to take 3 iterations when i equal to 3 it is going to take 2 iterations when i equals to 4 it is going to take only 1 iteration so this is how it is going to check uh, it is going to check and finally the maximum value would be retained under uh, um, the max variable and that is going to be the maximum sum value and when it comes to the time complexity if you check um, this uh, for, uh, 
this i loop is going to get executed for n time and j loop is going to get executed for n square time let me tell you how if you check like i value 0 the j loop is executed for 5 times and i values uh, um, 2 uh, i values 1 it is executing for 4 times and i values 2 it is executing for 3 when it is 3 it is ex it is uh, executing for 2 times and when i values 4 it is getting executed for 1 time so if you check the series the sum of n natural numbers for sum of n natural numbers the formula is n into n plus 1 by 2 if you solve this you will be getting the n square so the complexity is going to be big o of n square when you use the brute force method for brute force method the complexity is going to be big o of n cube in, like is there any other possible way to reduce the time complexity from big o of n square to something else let's check with the remaining methods whether uh, reducing the time complexity is possible thank you